Okay, I already have my waiver heating up. This is the Bedhead Wave Artist, and this thing is awesome. It's only $30, it's pretty affordable. So, I have it all the way turned on high. It doesn't tell me like temperature settings or anything, it just has high and low, and you can kind of adjust it anywhere in that range that you'd like. Um, I have it all the way on high, like I said. Typically, whenever I straighten my hair, I try to use the lowest heat setting that I can possibly get away with. It's just better on your hair. I don't think there's any need to fry your hair off for no reason. But when it comes to curling your hair or using like a waver like this, I think it's important to turn up the heat a little bit. If it's not hot enough, it may not curl your hair properly or wave it properly, and it's also not gonna last as long. So that's why when I do styles like this, I like to bump up the heat. My hair is dirty right now. I think it's maybe three days dirty. I don't know, I don't really remember. I think it's three days though. Um, I almost washed it this morning, but I thought I really feel like I can get at least another day or two out of this. I don't wash my hair that often. I really try not to. And this is a really good hairstyle for dirty hair because it's gonna give you that extra hold. I can usually get two or three days worth out of waves like this. So that's what I'm doing here. It also holds a lot better because I've got a little bit of product in my hair already. So that just gives it a little bit of extra hold. Whereas if I had just washed my hair, it'd be very clean and slippery and a little bit harder for it to kind of hold that really nicely. So. That's what I'm working with here. I also want to mention that because my hair is dirty right now, I went ahead and put in a little bit of this Moroccan Sleek oil treatment from Garnier Fructis. I put that through the ends of my hair because as the days progress um, and I don't wash my hair, using dry shampoo, hairspray, and all the weather and things like that, it does tend to get a little bit drier as the week goes on. So. Um, since we're about to use some heat on it, I just wanted to make sure that trying to protect those ends a little bit. So, I think that's all I have to say before we get into this. It's really pretty easy. I do want to say also, if you're doing this style with dirty hair like I am, it's going to wave a lot faster. So you're not going to have to hold it on there very long, especially if you have it turned all the way up like I do. If your hair is clean, it might take a little bit more to get it to wave. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna start on this side. My hair is kind of crazy because it's dirty, but that's fine. I also put some heat protectant spray in, so I've got that. Okay, so these under layers, especially these short ones where my undercut is growing out, I'm not that worried about these because they're not going to be showing that much, but I still want to wave them because I don't want it to look silly. So these, you know, just one little clamp on there and you're good. I try to be a little bit more careful with these hairs around my face because these are the longest hairs. and. Since I'm trying to grow my hair, I don't want to shrink them up and have them look a lot shorter than they are. So with these hairs closer to my face, I'm not going to leave this on as long. So it can look as long as possible. So I'm just going to start at the top and move down. So you can see how that's hopefully still going to look pretty long. Okay, again with these hairs around my face, I'm going to go a little bit lighter on those. Okay, so here's this side done. I know it looks kind of crazy, but it is going to relax a little bit and we can come back 
and tweak it a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and continue waving the rest of my hair and then we'll come back. If we need to tweak anything, then we can do that. Okay, I've got it all waved. My personal preference with the specific hairstyle I have right now is to wear this side behind my ear. I don't know, I mean, I guess it could look cute like that, but I don't know. I think it's a little bit more awkward since it's so much shorter. Anyway, something that I don't like to do usually when I wear my hair like this is brush through everything because it can really poof out and be really big. And that's another good thing about using this hair waver is that if you are somebody that has a hard time getting volume in your hair, this hairstyle really gives it to you as you can see. So that's a good thing I think, I like that. But instead of using a brush or a comb to kind of go through everything, I try to just use my fingers. If I want to add even more volume, I might use a volumizing hair powder. Also I like to use like hair putties and pastes and things. So this is the Moroccan Surf Paste. I've had this for a long time and it doesn't even look like I've hardly used any. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I got on my finger. I'm just going to run it right through my hands and that way I can kind of give it a messier look. Now, as always, I just want to finish off with a little bit of hairspray. And I think we're good to go with this hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's big and messy, but if you are like me and you love that kind of hair, then this is perfect for you. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more hair videos, and I will see you next time. Bye.